Okay. So till now we have completed three MATLAB modules. The first one was converters. Okay. In that we have studied this bug converter, boost converter, and that bidirectional converter. After that, we have completed the DC motor characteristic, speed door characteristic. Similar way, we have completed the induction motor characteristic. Okay. But in this project, we are going to see that how we are going to model, okay, how to calculate this vehicle speed and the motor torque by just designing the MATLAB model. Okay. So before starting this, you need to know about this, uh, <clears throat> whatever the, you can say that some of the parameters which we will use in this modeling. So you need to aware for uh, aware of that. And for that, I'm just uh, want to tell you these things that what parameters we want just to, so you can see this. This one is visible. Okay. So basically this one is a, whatever the retrofitting you have studied, I don't think that you have studied retrofitting conversion of any of the IC engine based vehicle to the electric vehicle. Okay. So for that, this is the design procedure. Okay. Means if you have any of the vehicle, which is operating on fuels, fuels and that vehicle you want to convert in a electric vehicle, whether it's a, any of the vehicle, whether it's a, you can say that Maruti Suzuki, this desire, any of the vehicle, Wagner. Okay. So for that, you need to calculate some of the parameters. Then only you can tell that if you want to make the motor rating this or the battery rating should be this for a specific given capacity of the, or we can say that the range of this vehicle. Okay. So for a particular range of the vehicle, you have to calculate these things because this is the design procedure, which we follow in any case of the, this retrofitting. Okay. That also we are going to design on Simlink. Initially, I told you that you can do mathematical modeling or you can do the simulating modeling. Same thing is, see, whether you are doing the mathematical modeling or whether you are doing a, uh, this simulating modeling, both are same. Both are same. There is no difference. See, I can just write this equation in form of mathematics formula in MATLAB. The second thing is I can convert this formula in simulink block that I also told like you just take one constant FR, one constant M, one constant G and what, what is going here? All are going to be multiplied. So I will use one multiply box and I will connect all three. It will give the output. So in simulink also you are nothing going to do new, but the difference is if you are doing completely mathematical model, completely mathematical modeling, in that mathematical modeling, you will use the formula list. Okay. You will use all the formula, but in case of Simulink, you can use Simulink model by using equations or you can use a particular block set to combine in a Simulink. Yeah. Pretty different. See, you can do mathematical modeling of battery also. Mathematical modeling of battery, but there is already one block is given for a battery. So we can use directly. Okay. So some of the uh, equations are given, which we will use today session. We will use in this MATLAB model. First thing is rolling resistance. Second gradient resistance, aerodynamic drag. The rolling resistance means we can say that it's a frictional oppose, which which is, uh, you know, uh, this surface is opposing the body to roll it out. If some body is rolling on, on surface, that surface is having some of the rolling resistance, which is preventing the rolling of that vehicle. For that, we will calculate that how much will be the rolling resistance for a particular surface. Okay. Similarly, gradient resistance, if you will see, See, if your vehicle, see, two things can be happen. 
your vehicle can run on this simple this one here which we are calling as rolling resistance fine but if you see in this case if your vehicle is moving at some gradient gradient means some inclination some inclination means it will have some angle of inclination okay this angle of inclination what will happen we can take some 4 degree 5 degree something it depends on the gradient whatever gradient you are using <clears throat> so for that you are having this formula you can do mathematical modeling for this and simulating modeling for this also so you will just keep the angle of that gradient so it will give some gradient resistance value okay so what it means me basically if your vehicle is running on a gradient or on a hilly station then what will happen this will oppose this vehicle to go upside because of the inclination it will try to move downwards that resistance or that friction we can say that that force whatever the force it is uh means stopping that body to go up upside so that we are seeing as a gradient resistance aerodynamic drag it depends on the vehicle body okay that what shape you are using for the your vehicle see if your vehicle is just like that you simple you just imagine if your vehicle is just like that and some air will come this side okay so obviously this air will thrust this vehicle more with more force why because it is perpendicular to the in the direction of the air but if somehow if i'll make this vehicle now this then what will happen this air whatever the air it was going here it will bypass from here that is what we say as a aerodynamic shape of the vehicle, uh, this vehicle if you will see some of the sporty cars or you can say that some of the racing car they have a proper aerodynamic shape okay so that aerodynamic drag also we will see by this formula these three things are very important to calculate these things okay now see so basically this is our objective that which we are going to model it how we are going to do model because we want some of the initial parameter or some of the input parameters to initialize so we want to develop one model to display vehicle speed it will show that vehicle speed there what what is the speed of that vehicle and according to that speed what will be the covered distance by that vehicle okay so initially we are taking that mass is 300 kg okay for that vehicle we have taken mass is 300 kg <clears throat> Ah, both you can you can see this one just uh two for just for understanding you can change the parameter and it will give you you can we can say that this mass basically gross gross mass of driver plus drive train okay 300 kg this one is drag coefficient you have taken 0.5 frontal area 1.5 किसी भी कल का ठीक है ये आपका क्या है जो रोलिंग रेजिस्टेंस है उसका कोफिशियंट है रोलिंग रेजिस्टेंस का ठीक है टायर रेडियस गियर रेशियो रोड ग्रेडियंट इन दिस केस वी आर टेकिंग रोड ग्रेडियंट एज जीरो व्हाट इट मींस दैट मींस दैट मींस दिस व्हीकल इज रनिंग ऑन फ्लैट सरफेस ओके देयर इज नो ग्रेडियंट सो यू कैन चेंज आल्सो बट वी आर नॉट इंक्लूडिंग according to the requirement we want 50 newton meter torque from this okay now see i i told you that we want three of these rolling resistance aerodynamic drag and hill climbing force hill climbing force the same as a gradient resistance okay so what is the formula for the rolling resistance frr is equal to mu rr into m into g in simulating block So in simulating block, if you want to simulate this 
formula. Then, then what is going on? This mu r r is multiplying with m and this g. So we have taken one constant block, which is 0 0.15. We have taken uh, uh, this mu r r. Okay. Multiply by mass, multiply by constants. What it will give you? Rolling resistance it will give. Chaho to see you can use to you can just model this like this. If you are having this multiplication box, you can add one constant block here, one constant block here, one constant block here, and connect all. Okay, and just take this. This will be your alpha. Right? So there are two methods to model it. Fine. This one. You will model easily. I will I will tell you in MATLAB also, but first understand that. Now see how we decide that what will be the different uh, mu r r means rolling resistance value for a car in a different condition. See, so if some of the specific conditions are there, like if your tires are uh, on concrete, so it will change like it's 0.013 tires on rolled gravel rolled gravel means if gravels means you can say that stones some stones are there if okay so the rolling resistance will change because i told you the resistance this friction is always depends on the surface whatever the surface uh, means if the if your surface is changing so the friction will change that is why this rolling resistance is changing In this case, we are taking 0 0.015. Fine. Right? Now, <clears throat> the next one is aerodynamic drag force. That is also I told you that we have to calculate. The formula is given here. Okay. Now, similarly, here what we have done, we have used one multiply box. This one is a multiply. This one is a gain block this one is a constant block if you will type on matlab constant so this block will come if you will type gain this block will come if you will type a square this one is a square if you will type a square so this block will come fine this one is output block output if you will type output this block will come so <clears throat> How we are going to multiply these things? What is this? Rho. What is the value of rho? 1.25. 1 1.25. Okay. So this 1.25, we will take 0.5 is again that I told you. 0.5 means this one point. Okay. This row we have taken 1.25. V by 2. What is this V? Velocity of the velocity of the vehicle. So that is why we have taken a speed a square. This one, what is this? This whole is v square right so we have included v square here the cd square type block ah square ka block aata hai square type karo square aa jayega aapko do aapko speed ke liye aisa nahi karna hai ki ek constant block lagaya fir ek constant block lagaya hai na fir aapne in dono ko kya kiya multiplication kiya to fir ye aapko kya de raha hai yahan pe square de raha hai aise nahi karna there is always one block is there. Connect a square block, u square, and connect whatever the input parameter. It will give you the square. Okay. Drag coefficient we have taken as a 0.625. Okay. 1.5 is the frontal area that we have. So what, what is happening? This one is coming and this one is coming and all are going to be multiply here and this will give you the what aerodynamic drag formula you can do one more thing just 
type this formula as a mathematical and just give all the parameters rho v a and c d when you will just put all the input parameter this will calculate this f a d simple function if you are making it as a function block this one will give you the same value there is no difference okay Value is the value of 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 Okay, so this one also, uh, this it depends on the vehicle type. Okay, it's a, oh, these are the vehicle type, and according to the vehicle type, the aerodynamic drag force will be different. So you just see here, you are taking like motorcycle, racing cars, uh, means different different types of uh, cars types will be there. So according to that the cd is going to be changed why because these are the shape effect of the drag okay if if your this one is a flat plate so this one will be the cd 1.28 okay and according to that so to calculate the cd one formula is there dy rho v square a by 2 this you can use to calculate the cd but for now we are just taking as a constant value okay see here this one is a hill climbing course that I told you. But here what we are taking gradient as a zero. So we have taken zero. If this zero is going to multiply with this sign and this M is 300, this G is 9.8. And this will give you FHS, FSC, okay? Hill climbing force, fine. You understand this. If you will see this model, in this model, what is happening? We want 50 Newton meter torque. I told you initially, this one was our requirement. Okay. This one is 50 Newton meter torque we want. Okay. So if you will see that how we are going to connect this how we have taken 1 by 0 0.3, how this ordering distance is minus, minus, minus. And so this one, I told you, no, this one is just a formula. This one is a complete formula. And according to that formula, we have connected the block. Fine. So in this formula, if you will see, like if you want to take the 50 Newton meter torque, this one is your requirement. So this one is a Summation row. I will tell you after that that how we, we are going to we will not deny sir. That's your level. How we are going to do on MATLAB? You would first see this and understand that how we are going to do on MATLAB. I will I will tell you. So this one is a summation block. Everything I think you can easily identify. This one is again gain. This one is integration block. This one is again gain. This one is a subsystem. Okay. These are subsystem. One, two, three. Three subsystem we are going to connect. So in this summation block, we are going to do that. Now see here. What we want? We want a speed and we want distance. <clears throat> so this inertia is coming. One by mass, it will give you the acceleration. If you will x if you will integrate the acceleration, what it will give? If you will just, if, if it will give you the velocity, it will give you the velocity. That velocity, if you will integrate again, then it will give you the distance. Simple, mathematical. In the first class, we have seen some of the physics basics. 
there these things are there means if you are integrating the acceleration it will give you the velocity if you will integrate the velocity it it will give you the distance so that is why we have using this integrator block one block is here and one block is here now you got the velocity but this will come to the meter per second why because we have taken here see newton per meter okay everything we have taken meter per second only so to convert this meter per second to kilometer per hour we have to multiply this 3600 divided by 1000 so that is why we have used this gain block just to convert what meter second to kilometer so this will give you the speed in what kilometer per hour fine now see again when you will get the distance so this distance will be in meter but you want to convert this meter to kilometer. So you will directly, now this distance is in kilometer, fine. So that means you can say that my vehicle is running on 58.2 kilometer per hour speed and it is going to cover 15.723 kilometer distance for this 50 Newton meter of the torque. Okay, now see in MATLAB how we will model this. So, I just want to tell that how we are going to make the things. It's just see, I told you. See. If you want any of the block like constant, this type constant, if we constant, it will give you the constant block. Right? If you want gain, type gain, it will give you a gain block. If you want again one gain block, then what will you, what you will do? Just copy and paste. Control C, Control B. So you will get the again one block. Okay. Again, output. So we will get the output block. Okay. Connect all these. One, two, three. Here, what we are going to do that, whatever you want to make it like we I want to calculate the F R R rolling resistance okay or we can say the rolling force so this one will be the I can change the name just by clicking down and I can make it as new RR just just for and this one will be the This one will be your M, M, mass of the vehicle. Okay, M into So I will just click here and I will, I'm just for my understanding, I'm doing so. Okay, you can directly connect these blocks and give the value, it will give you the proper output. There is no need to write these things, but for the understanding, you, you have to write these things okay otherwise you will get confused now this one is fine just now fine give the value all the values whatever the 0 0.015 okay m is 300 this one is a z just give the value simple 9.8 okay so this rolling resistance is fine no need. Now just select this and leave. It will give you an option. The first option is create subsystem and click this. This one will be your subsystem. Now similarly, similarly you will get three subsystem in this way. will get or not in this way
in this way you will get three for what this one for rolling resistance this one for aerodynamic drag this one for a hill climbing we can say that gradient resistance fine the same ha uh, so those three are just in case create yeah please repeat again okay okay you know uh, did you cut and paste uh, to get the three uh, additional ones additional ones no 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 i am just telling i am just telling these things like uh, like we have created this first one yeah okay mm. in the similar way what we have to do is we have to make again one sub system for the aerodynamic drag and again okay. we will take this and make a sub system so this will be the second sub system okay okay fine i'm oh, okay. just i'm just yeah for the understanding purpose i'm doing so oh, okay okay but we 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 have to make a different different block like for this block you have to make the system according to that you have to make this system i'm just telling that how we are going to do these things oh, okay so you will get this whatever i have done here only okay this you can also do by whatever i said to you you can also do by just my multiplying all three or directly use this block okay <clears throat> now see for this what are the blocks are there i'm just making here only okay so if i want to make this aerodynamic drag in swimming then what i will do again i will just whatever the constant constant block is there again what is there gain is there what is there drag again gain is there again is square s q square this square block will be that input 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 is there output go to from ka ye matlab hai if if you want to connect this go to and from that means if you are taking any of the output from somewhere and you are not you you don't want to connect that in in inside any of any of the sub system or any of the block then what you will do see if three sub systems are there in any of the sub system you want to take the signal and you want to give in any of the sub system then what you will do you will take one go to block from the first sub system and that this from you will connect to interlinking ha ha wo bhi use kar sakte go to रो वैल्यू एक्चुअली इफ यू विल डू वन बाई टू नाट बी लाइक दैट ओनली uh here you are telling yes yes okay okay fine 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 so this this one is 0.5 here yes that is a 1 by 2 value okay okay this row we have taken you are not mentioned that the row value ha 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 row ko 0.5 by 2 se divide kar diya baki sab kuch hone hai whole divided ko ye row whole divided मैथमेटिकल प्रॉब्लम है ठीक है ओके फाइन सो ओके दिस वन जस्ट अ मैथमेटिकल ले रहा वी कैन करेक्ट इट इजिली नो इशू हाँ दिस वन दिस वन जस्ट फॉर रो ओनली you just make it 1.25 so that will be correct there is no issue just for mathematical uh, error it is there okay but for instance you just uh, understand that how we are going to make it so again whatever the uh, block you want you just take uh, again the we want multiplication so we will take multiplication multiply multiply okay so this will come now see you have to search products sir ha ah, product okay 
all blocks are there now simple just some interconnections are there that's it okay just connect all these things like this fine now just give all these value whether it's here it's 0.625 fine but the actual value is 1.25 something like that any value you can take this mathematical error problem you can change it like it's 1.5 just give the value 1.5 similar value right like that you can give all the value again the same thing you will do you will take it select this all and just go to the create subsystem so it will give you like this so this is now subsystem subsystem created so one, one, one option is then masking. masking you can do masking or you can do that enable subsystem so that will open the your subsystem simple okay so this one will be your subsystem the same thing you will do from this simple this one okay after all this subsystem what you need to do is this one adder so you will take the adder add this will give you this type of block but no no you can change you can change these things okay now you want to change the sign but because the first sign is plus and others are negative so what you have to do is you click on this and just list of sign and give minus minus and minus so this will give you like this fine can just yeah no no actually mein ye jo formula hai na see whatever the formula we are having in that formula this rolling resistance will be minus this one will be minus because these are the friction losses you can say that these are the resistance so we have to make it minus <laughs> Hmm. So in, in negative they are adding huh? in negative direction they are adding but for this torque they will substitute this resistance so whatever the actual torque will be there this will come after this by subtracting these if these are the losses huh, if you can you can consider it as a losses so you have to uh, means uh, subtract these losses then only you will get the actual power correct so that is why we are using this plus whatever the power we are torque into tire power upon tire radius it will give you the actual means uh, we can say that actual power and these we have to neglect so that is why we are using minus 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 so they will add up and go to the subtraction so you will get this fine so connect all these three one two and this three in that way now again this gain block will be there now if you want to see if your inertia is there and you want acceleration for that you have to divide for by mass so that is why you are using one upon mass to get the see how you will get the velocity from inertia from inertia you have to do some of the arrangement so what you will do you will do some first you will convert inertia to acceleration then acceleration to velocity then velocity to distance so these procedures are there okay that is why we are doing we are using this gain block here and it is dividing by 300 because the vehicle weight is 300 so that 300 it will divide the inertia of that vehicle so it will give you the acceleration the same thing will happen now see this will i will i will give you for a specific vehicle understand this and uh, now if i will run this model this will give you the 58 point
no sigue. In this scope, if you will see, the first one is a, we can say that tractive power. Okay. After that, rolling resistance. After that, aerodynamic force. After that, hill climbing, hill climbing force. So those waveforms are in this way only. This one is a tractive power. Rolling force. What is this? Aerodynamic drag force. This one is green one is. You want a drag force? Huh. हो सकता है इसमें मेरे को एक बार चेक करना पड़ेगा कि हाँ ये एक्चुअली में जो साइन कन्वर्जन में हो रहा है ना वो ये है रेड बोन ठीक है सो यू कैन इजीली जस्ट मॉडल दिस जस्ट टू सी बिकॉज़ दिस थिंग्स आर इम्पोर्टेंट इन केस ऑफ सी इफ यू आर हैविंग दिस पावर ट्रेन मॉडलिंग but in power train modeling you want to check your vehicle speed and the covered distance also na like speedometer you have the speedometer in that speedometer the the distance as well as the speed both are coming so basically we are just designing or we are modeling the speedometer of the electric vehicle or any of the vehicle not not just electric vehicle any of the vehicle if you know the required torque of that vehicle see it's a pure electric vehicle or whether it's a ic engine you always have some torque like if you will see it's a 100 newton meter torque 1 to 125 newton meter torque you know that torque you just tire radius also known so tractive power you will get to know according to that only you can design for any of the vehicle like what will be the speed of that vehicle and what will be the speed for, uh, and according to that speed what will be the covered distance okay so that is why this is important in case of the electric vehicle power train modeling you can include this with the power train modeling to know the speed and torque speed and distance because these inputs you can directly feed up to the controller motor controller there you can identify according to the speed change that motor control will see if your motor controller is there some just suppose motor controller is there here so what you will do you will give input as a speed so whenever the speed value will come like this one is a required speed so this motor controller will control that speed that is why this uh, speed and distance measurement is important because accordingly on, uh, only you can means uh, say that your battery is going to discharge what will be the range for this speed see if you are running your vehicle at very high speed obviously it will take more power to run that motor so according to the speed the power consumption will be there so that is why we are just going to this do that okay today you just do one thing you model this okay i will share the manual on group you model this for a, i will give you the specification you model for that only not this but the uh, this model will be the same theek hai okay okay so for today this one only okay we will see in next class some after this battery we will see some bms and uh, so you also you have to follow the uh, this module also whatever the module we are having i have to check once uh this one so till where we have covered actually you will see okay we are we are going with this batteries na huh? okay fine so some battery calculations are there you will see some in next class we will see in some battery calculation okay series parallel i don't think that i have to tell i should tell because we have already completed the series parallel 
connections at the time of series parallel connections we already covered that if series connections or batteries is there what will be the output parallel is there what we will skip that part i will just randomly in between i will tell okay like today also i huh. and uh, for a particular uh, means range we can say that if range is given that how you will calculate the battery pack capacity that we will see okay after that what is there this battery management system part is there fine and after that converter controller fine you already this one is done from means i think it will take only most probably two to two two three classes this electrical part will be finished rest huh all the things we have only this much only in, in, in electrical you see that see we have uh, we have completed this all thing now you don't have this you don't have this nano degree program Inverter huh? Inverter Inverter uh -huh. inverter baki na? We will see in inverter also we are having uh, this uh, multi-level inverter modeling on MATLAB. That also we can do. And the, there also you will study and the separately we are having. Abhi kahan tak ho gaya? See, we are doing this EV batteries, types of batteries. In types of battery, I want to teach one more thing from my side, this lithium ion battery in detail. Because other are not useful batteries for automotive application. But we will see the lithium ion. Because in lithium ion, five, six types are there. Okay. LTU, L, L, LFO, so, so many things. Uh, are there so we will see at least the uh, basic difference advantage and the types of the lithium ion. at least we will see so that we can have some idea that how lithium ion batteries are having some different types and how we are going to differentiate on which basis we are going to differentiate lithium ion battery because simply we can uh, differentiate nickel cadmium nickel metal hydride because the chemistry is different but in lithium ion it itself how we are saying this lithium ion is having different types of batteries so that uh, means we will see that parameter and uh, after that this battery calculation i will tell you for a party see this battery calculation half of the part we have completed today itself because we, uh, means if you don't know the this rolling resistance aerodynamic drag tractive force then you cannot calculate the battery capacity for a particular vehicle so half of the part we have completed in battery calculation rest we will see when we will calculate the motor calculation and after that battery calculation and the range basically this battery calculation means the retrofitting part in retrofitting what are the requirements motor power a to torque requirement for a particular range we always calculate and battery capacity we calculate so in this battery calculation we will see the retrofitting part right so usme sab include ho jayega wo jitna bhi hai motor ka part hai ya battery ka part hai after that some battery management system is that or this battery management system okay uh, i don't think this this battery management system modeling is included but if you want to do the battery management uh, this battery management system on matlab and i can do that one only or course included hmm? course man included hai matlab mein mere paas module online access mein ha wo access kar sakta hu dashboard se then i will explain the same thing so that you can get to know because if I will change, then there is problem. So we will discuss the same model, whatever you are having in online, like online option. Okay. So this battery management system will be done in one to two lectures.
After that, this motor controller, converter and inverter, we will see. Finish, this one is there only. It will take only three to four lectures and your this electrical part will be finished. Okay. So you just come with this, some of the basic things like battery calculation, a study about this battery calculation and this BMS also, so that you will be more clear to things. Okay. Now we will end up the session. If anyone is having some doubt, we can ask anything, whatever we have studied today. Hello, sir. Hmm. How do we get that uh, uh, torque block in simulate? Torque block? Mm. Okay, fine. This one? The before, uh, the before the gain group, yes. Simple, constant. Constant, okay. Thank you. Yeah, it's constant only. I told you, no? Uh, constant. See. You will get the, this block? Fine. You just rename it. Whatever the name you want, you give it to name. Like you want torques, so like torque. This one is torque. Fine. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else? Faisal, no doubt in today's class, you are clear, sir? Okay. Okay, fine. If you have any doubt, you just text me. I will see. Thank you all. We will see in the next class.